when you have salespeople associated with your customers and sales. It is possible to not only include a salesperson value, but also ensure a value is selected and is valid. And when required, you could restrict customer and sales lists to only those assigned to a particular salesperson. To access the list of salespeople, from the Sales top menu, choose Salespeople. You can have as many records as you need, which don't have to coincide with user or employee records in Spire. For each salesperson record, you must assign a unique code and enter the name that you want to display in other records and transactions. You can assign an address and other contact information here, and even include additional associated contacts below if there are alternate values such as a cell phone. Email addresses could be interesting to maintain, as salespeople can be selected as email recipients of sales order forms if they need to be copied with attachments in some cases. If a salesperson is assigned to a customer, you can set them to be included on new sales orders by default. When editing a customer, from the Addresses tab and the Order Defaults sub-tab, there is a place to set the salesperson code either by typing it in or selecting it from the list. If you type, you can ensure a valid value is entered with a user setting to validate the salesperson code. This default can be configured differently for the billing address and each shipping address, if that matters to salesperson assignment. And it is not required to enter a default value and instead could be left blank. When a new sales order is created, even before the customer is selected, you might see the salesperson field already with a value, if you have a user setting configured to have a default salesperson on new sales orders. This would be kept if the customer did not have a default salesperson set up. When a customer is chosen for the order that does have a default salesperson, this will be loaded into the order, replacing whatever value was previously there. And if a ship to address is selected that uses a different salesperson, then this will be loaded as well. These are just defaults, and you can override the field value as required if you have user security rights and sales orders to do so. Note that any time the ship to field value is reselected, this will reload the salesperson and replace the previous value with the default. So you want to ensure that the ship to is correct before overriding the salesperson. If you need to ensure that every sales order has an associated salesperson, perhaps for commission reporting, there is a company setting to require salesperson on orders, so that if the field was blank and you attempt to save the order, an error message will appear. And if your company has tighter security around salespeople and their respective customers and sales, you can prevent users from being able to see these records with other salespeople. In user settings and the salesperson section, you can restrict which customer and sales records are visible to the user by selecting a salesperson code here. Therefore, customer and sales lists throughout Spire are automatically limited to that salesperson only. If you would like more information about Spire Accounting, access the link in the description below to our homepage. Read the online manual help for additional assistance. Watch more videos from this playlist and subscribe to the Spire YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.